Hey everybody, it's Seeker, and today we're going to do something quite a bit different for this channel. Now, you know I'm not a tech channel, however, I was sent this by Andenstar. Now, Andenstar is the company that produces the microscope that I actually use on my channel, uh, the CoinScope. I've actually been using it for a few years. And I got an email from Andenstar. They reached out and they said, hey, we have, uh, we have this microscope we'd like for you to take a look at. If you would show it off on your channel, we'd appreciate it. Uh, we'll send you one. I said, sure, I'd be happy with that. Now, keep in mind, they did not pay me. I'm not being paid for this video at all. Uh, they did, however, send me the microscope for free, and I'm going to do what they uh, asked and said when I said I could show it off on the channel. They didn't tell me what to say. They didn't say uh, to not say anything negative or any, you know, whatever. They did not tell me at all what to say. All they asked is that I show it off on the channel or use it on the channel. They didn't even say show it off. They just said use it in one of your videos, put a link to it in the description, um, and we'll send you one. I said, sure. And so that's what I have in my hand here, guys. This is a really, really cool microscope. Now, this is a standalone microscope. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, camera so you can take a look at it up close. We'll actually show you a couple of examples of it. And I'll show you my thoughts, uh, both positive and negative, on this coin microscope. Let's get over to it and check it out. Okay, guys, so here it is under the camera. We're going to use it uh, with a couple of coins. We're going to take uh, show you some real-world examples of how good this thing works. Uh, and we'll talk about the positives and negatives. We'll take a side view of it first, though. Uh, you can see it comes with a metal stand here. These knobs right here adjust it up and down. And then you have a knob right here that adjusts the tightness of these knobs. So, you know, you loosen this one up and these are a lot looser, but uh, you can tighten this up and keep it in position where you want it. And then what you have here, these are two snake lights. So these are LED lights that you can shine down on the coin. I like that they don't shine directly down on the coin. Something with my coin scope with the lights that are built into it is they shine directly down on top of it. And for reflective items like coins, uh, you know, that causes a bad reflection. So I do like that these have, you know, they, they can shine in from the side and not directly down on top of it um, now inside it does look like there are some led lights also right around the microscope so you can use those and then it has a menu on top power button menu and then adjust up and down okay and then there's a picture button and the reason this button is here is because if you look at the top of it there's actually a slot for a memory card so you can actually take photos of what you're looking at and then load them into your computer. And then this right here is a power cable. Now, the good news about this, and I'm gonna show you in an example, is that the screen is actually really nice. Uh, you can see very clearly, but the negative side, and one thing I don't like about it, and uh, one reason that I, I like, I love this microscope, but I'm not going to use it on the channel very often, is because while this is a fantastic microscope for looking at coins, it's not very good for YouTube videos because you can't hook it up to the PC via USB. So I have a USB microscope also from And Star I've been using for a few years, and uh, you know I'm able to use that directly from the computer. You guys have seen it on my streams and things like that, and uh, load the video directly into the PC. Uh, this one, unfortunately, does not have that option. You can't hook it up via USB. Uh, but outside of that, it's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get it plugged up, guys. By the way, this also comes with a remote. Now, granted, when you're using this, you're probably going to be right up on top of it, so I'm not sure what the remote's about. And then on the power cable, you get uh, these buttons who, that adjust the brightness of the snake lights and then, of course, a power button as well. So it's very easy to plug it in. Uh, you just plug it into the power adapter, or I actually got mine plugged into a USB port on my PC right now. And then you just plug your power up here. And then back here is another power port. This one right here plugs into the snake lights. And then, like I said, with this knob right here, you can see the snake lights getting brighter and dimmer by using those. And then, of course, you can turn it. The whole contraption is turned on and off by the power button right there. So let's go ahead and flip it up. And uh, we'll take a look at what's going on. So we'll adjust our snake lights. And then what we're going to do, we're going to grab, I have, I pulled out a couple of fake seated dollars that I had. And we're going to go ahead and put these under the scope. Now, as you can see, I do not have it focused. So let me go ahead and get this thing focused in really quick. Okay, so you can see I have it now focused in. So we're actually taking a look at this fake seated dollar. And uh, we're not going to look at why the seated dollar is fake. That's not what this video is about. It's just want to share with you, uh, you know, how good this uh, this microscope is for using like for this microscope right here. What I'm going to be using it for, honestly, is because a lot of the times I want to look at coins, but I don't necessarily want to be sitting in front of my computer so I can sit down with a stack of coins and I can actually use the scope 
and we can take a look at them under there. And of course, once I get the USB, or I'm sorry, the memory card, I'll be able to take photos of them and then load them on the computer later if I need to. But what we're gonna do, now that we've seen the coin under the scope, let's go ahead and zoom in on it. So we'll go ahead and lower this down. We'll get it pretty close to the coin. And then of course we are going to have to refocus. So let's go ahead and refocus it in. And the focus knob is the big knob right above the scope uh, with the ridges that, and there we go. So anyway, now we have it nice and focused in. Now you can see the glare of my studio lighting above. And so I do apologize about that. But uh, looking, you know, as you can see, looking at the screen, uh, very close to, uh, crystal clear images. Uh, of course, you can see that this thing right here, this uh, this dollar in particular, is very pitted. This is 100% a cast, a horrible cast, by the way. It wasn't even close. I mean, take a look at the star. That That's pretty bad, right? So uh, very, very good microscope for what it is for being able to sit down and look at coins uh, without being hooked up to a PC if you just want to put this on your desk and uh, you just have a few you want to look at. But of course, if you don't want to hook it up to the PC and go through all of that mess, this is really, really good uh, for that. So I want to show you one other negative thing um, with this scope, and this is something I found for doing very, very small coins, but uh, there is a way to solve it, and it's uh, really not bad. But the reason is, is because the scope, and I'm going to show you on the side here really quick, because the scope is so wide, when you get something small, like a, let's say a dime or a penny, and you wanna get it under there, you know, it's hard to move it around to the correct point because obviously your fingers start hitting the edge of the scope. And obviously that becomes a problem because again, you're trying to get it into the right position and it's really hard to do. So what I discovered when playing around with this before I did this video is that if you use something like a piece of cardboard. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard here. You can use a playing card even, or a magic card, whatever. Put it on the cardboard and then, you know, the cardboard sticks out and you can just move it around and you just have to refocus it, obviously, because the cardboard makes it a little bit higher and closer to the scope. So now that we have it zoomed in, you can see I can just move what it's sitting on around and it's easy for me to locate that horrible, horrible D on this 1916D Mercury dime. But again, it's easy to just move the whole coin around if you have it just sitting on something. So where that is a negative, it's very easily solved by just sitting it on a small card, you know, a playing card or a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper even uh, would work just fine. So, you know, not not a super negative, if you will, just something that I did notice when I was trying to use small coins, but bigger coins like Morgan's because they're so large, uh, the diameter is roughly about the same of the whole contraption, maybe a little bit more, very easy to move those around. So that is what I have today, guys. Just wanted to share this with you. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. I do not get any kickbacks for any sales, so you know, uh, don't take it that way. And I did not get paid to do this video. They just sent me the microscope uh, and asked if I would use it in a video. And they didn't even ask me to do this. They did not ask me to do a review of it. I just figured why not go all out because they were nice enough to send it to me. They quite literally just said, just use it in one of your videos and put a link to the, in the description of what scope you use. Um, they didn't even ask me to go this far, but I just wanted to do it. So thank you so much to Andenstar. And uh, they, again, there will be a link in the description below if you wanna see this. But again, it's a very cool microscope. Uh, again, just you can't hook it up to your PC, so you can't view your images on your PC screen. But if you're wanting something uh, where you can just sit on a desk or even on your kitchen table and just go through some coins, uh, this is perfect, I love it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you being here on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I did leave a video above you can check out if you haven't seen it yet. I also want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to my awesome channel supporters scrolling right there on the right hand of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.